My name is James Hyman. I'm the founder of the Hyman Archive. Now we are in the stockroom in London, SE18 in Woolwich. I would estimate we're up to about 80,000 magazines and 3,000 different titles. The collection spans 1910 to present day, even yesterday. We get magazines coming in all the time, and over 55% of the titles in the collection are not owned by the British Library. Yeah, I'm going to need the ladder. This collection is curated for popular culture. That's a very broad definition. So that's film, fashion, music, television, technology, art, sport. And you have to obviously realize that in that itself, you have got from the last 100 plus years, the best photographers, critics, authors, journalists, illustrators, visual artists, cartoonists. That's why it's so valuable. Here we go. They're up here. Initially, my family, there were times where they thought I was quite crazy doing this. But as this journey has progressed and they're seeing all the cogs fit into place and they share that vision, they see, you know what, that madness could be genius. I started collecting. The tipping point for me really was when I was a scriptwriter for MTV Europe in the late 80s and early 90s. You didn't have the internet. Your best source of information was magazines. They were the zeitgeist. They had all the stuff that you needed information on to talk about what was going on in music, film, fashion. I valued those magazines because I really felt an emotional attachment to them to preserve what was in there. There was something in those magazines that had to be preserved. The information, the pictures, the illustrations, the photography, it was very important in my opinion and still is. Oh, I think these are it. I think this is it. Hold on. Yeah. I don't have that anxiety like I used to, like, oh my gosh, I'm missing an issue because again, we get lots of donations. For me, that anxiety, it's gone because I have the vision for what I want to do with this. Oh, hold on, number three, ah. Oh. Well, as you can see behind me, there's an incredible team who helped maintain it, Alexia and Tori Turk. Tori Turk has been incredible. She has been with me pretty much from day one on this project. Well, I think me and James automatically bonded. I really sort of appreciate his OCD spirit and his um, completism. I think he's a genius. It's difficult to understand how he could have come up with this idea so long ago when at that time I probably didn't intend it to be what it's going to become. Got them. Hoarding's a derogatory word. It, it gives the impression there's no purpose to what you're doing. There is a purpose here and that purpose is to digitize its contents, meta tag it, create analytical tools to analyze the data and visualize the data because that really unlocks the key and value of this archive. That's something that businesses would like, researchers, students, professionals. In 20 years time, I see this collection as living, breathing, valued and accessible.